Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy. So tonight on this episode of Old Man Drinking Beer, I have a New Belgium Voodoo Ranger Juicifier IPA. I think they just like making long names for their beers anymore. So while I was trying to find the information on their website, I stumbled across a bunch of beers that I have never seen before or I didn't realize that New Belgium made. But it, it was almost like they hid this one. Like, you, if you want to learn about this beer, you, like, you've really got to be willing to, to hunt it down. It took me a few minutes, which you would think that a, a company of that size would have a, an easy-to-navigate website. And most of their beers are pretty easy to find, but I actually had to click. I eventually found an image of a variety pack that had that particular beer listed in it, took me to the variety pack, had to scroll over. I mean, it, you know, it's a first world problem, but still, you, I would think that it would be a little easier to find. I eventually found it. There wasn't as much going on here as I was hoping, but it still has the information that I generally am looking for. And then it also, I, I guess, must be using my GPS because it knows where I am and was telling me that the local liquor store in town carries it. But that's neither here nor there. The important thing is that it has an ABV of 7.7%, an IBU of 50. It uses Citra Incognito Galaxy and Chinook Hops and Pale Munich and Oats for the malt. Let's crack this See what we're working with here. We're in a nice golden color. Plenty of carbonation. We'll give that a second to rest. I can see some sediment swirling around in there. Oh yeah, there's a lot more. I just really stirred that up. It kind of looks angry almost. It's, it's like there is pulp in there from a uh, citrus fruit or something. It's uh, pretty chunky as far as beers go. Definitely picking up some citrus notes and you can smell the hops too. There's a little bit of bitterness going on there. Can you, can you hear the Stampede of One just kind of roaming around out there? After my last video, I really thought that I could get her to lay down, and so I told her to go and lay down. Sure enough, she's... Oh, both the dogs are they're wrestling. That's why it's so noisy. They decided to just be in the adjoining room and, and be jerks, so... One moment, please. As I was saying, there's only one thing left to do. Cheers. Whew. That was a lot more bitter than I was expecting it to be. On the nose, I was definitely picking up more citrus, so I guess I was hoping that it would, and especially since it's called Juicifier, I guess I was hoping for more of the citrus flavored IPA and not the bitter make your face pucker IPA. Um, it's not bad, but when you're not expecting it, it definitely catches you off guard. I, I found that IPAs, you have to be expecting what it's gonna taste like, or it'll, uh, it'll knock your taste buds around a little bit to say the least. Yeah, the the piney resiny hops are definitely the the star of this show. Um, I've had hoppier, but it's for 50 IBUs. It really packs a punch. 
um, in, in comparison, uh, the uh, the Amber IPA, the Wild Bride that I had by these guys, is not nearly so bitter, but it's... I'm trying to think of something else. Um, the uh, Indian Pale Lager that I had, um, Hippie Hole from uh, Firehouse Brewing out of uh, Grand, uh, Rapid City, South Dakota. That one was definitely um, a hot punch right to the tongue. So this is somewhere in between those two. Again, I, I wasn't expecting it, so that first punch really caught me off guard, but it, I'm still expecting it. It's still pretty hoppy, so it's uh, definitely, uh, what am I trying to say? It's definitely made for a hop head. It's, it's not for the, the faint of heart. Not a bad beer, medium body. There's a little bit of citrus on the aftertaste, I guess, but other than that, it's it's a uh, moderately hoppy beer, I would say. So there's that. Um, and that's really all I have to say about this beer. So if you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button below, and don't forget to tell your friends. And this is the Malt Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver. So use it wisely.